another Canvas update with Inside Swoop. I'm Rose Holtworth, here to bring you up to date on what's going on this week. Are you looking for a pet-friendly fun this spooky season? Canine Social in Riverside has the event for you. This bar caters to dogs and dog lovers all year round, but this Halloween they're taking it a step further by hosting a pumpkin carving contest this Friday, October 21st, starting at 6. You can show off you and your pup's pumpkin carving abilities for a panel of judges. Register by Wednesday the 19th if this catches your fancy, but if it doesn't, we have plenty of other spectacular events for you to explore. Orange, you glad it's Halloween? Well, the perfect pumpkin patch is waiting for you. Isla Faith United Methodist Church has its own little pumpkin patch, free to the public. Located on 121st San Pablo Road, Jacksonville, Florida, is a small pumpkin patch hosted by a church. The pumpkin patch is open every day from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. weekdays and 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. weekends until October 31st. There are donations-based patch with encouraged pricing on various pumpkins. Stop by soon and get the, in the full spirit. UNF isn't skimping on the Halloween spirit either. I went out to the campus nature trails to get an inside spook on Eco Adventures Spooky Paddle. I'm here at Eco Adventure where they're hosting a spooky paddle night in the spirit of Halloween. Students from all over UNF can join their colleagues from 7 to 9 to enjoy a night of nature and some scares. All of the gear that you need is provided by Eco Adventure's gear checkout. So if you're looking for a adventure tonight and have nothing else to do, come join us at the Spooky Paddle at Eco. Rose Holtzworth, Inside Swoop. Looking for something scale fun to do this Halloween? Trick or treat yourself to the TLC Fall Festival. The TLC Student Affairs Committee will be hosting the festival on Wednesday, October 26th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. in Building 57, Room 1100A for students and faculty in the TLC department. Plenty of fun festivities are planned for this year's event, including the mini pumpkin decorating, children's book character costume contest, and of course, lots of spectacular free food. For more information, contact Aid Adrian Malik at amalik at unf.edu. Want to get out for Halloween? Well, look no further than the beach. It's time for the second annual Halloween pop-up at Jacksonville Beach, Sunday, October 30th. Located at the Seawalk Pavilion, 71st Street, North Jacksonville Beach, this free event provides endless fun with food trucks, 200 plus vendors, and trick-or-treating. You can even show off your creativity and join a costume contest. Get ready to get scared sheetless. 13th floor Haunted House Jacksonville is back on its fifth consecutive year. It's that time of the year again. Located in Regency Court, the world-famous 13th floor Haunted House is opening back up to scare people of all shapes and sizes. From creaky crawlies to chainsaw-wielding madmen, Jacksonville's biggest haunted house has a variety of ghoulish attractions that are sure to knock you off your feet. Open on select nights from now through Halloween. Tickets are on sale ranging from $20 to $30. Open from 7 p.m. to 9.30. Head over to 13th floor to have a spell of a good time. Well, that's another edition of Inside Swoop. Tune in next time for more campus information. I'm Rose Holtzworth. Thanks for joining me on Inside Swoop.